Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is joiner transformation. What is joiner transformation? The joiner transformation is an active and connected transformation which is used to join two heterogeneous data sources. What is hetero means different, that means not identical. Homogeneous means identical data sources. If you are using homogeneous data sources means then you can go for source qualified transformation. Even for homogeneous you can use joiner transformation, it is not an issue. Actually joiner transformation joins the sources based on a condition that matches one or more pairs of columns between the two sources. That means if you are joining the employee table and department table you should have one column in common. Okay. To join the number of sources in a mapping, you need n minus 1 joiner transformation. That means n number of sources means n minus 1 joiner transformation is required. If you are using two sources means you need one joiner transformation. And I am using one uh, example for this. I created two tables, one is subject, other one is student. Here is the subjects table. It contains three records that contain subject ID and subject name and student contains the three records contains the subject ID and student ID. For one, su one student ID we have not allocated any subject so that we can see the different joints. You can see the results of the different joints. That is why I kept it as null. Okay. Now we will see how we are going to create the joiner transformation. Here I have already created one map for that purpose. I will show you how to create the joiner transformation. I have to click this icon joiner transformation. You can drag like this. After that you have to drag the respective columns, okay. ports, ok, now you have to rename it first and for joiner transformation the naming convention start with the JNR. Okay, uh, after the renaming it we have to go for this uh, port. Uh, here one more port, unique port available that is M. M stands for, you have to choose whether it is master or detail. Here if we, we have opted for the subject table, subject ID and subject name we have chosen as master uh, records and for your information we have to choose the table which is having the fewer rows as the master table. That means for example in an uh, organization a department table will be having lesser number of rows, fewer rows and employee normally will have we will have we will be having more number of records. Department means four to five departments only there in the company or some companies uh, we might be having around 10 departments not more than that. So the number of rows uh, records in the department table will always be less. So that table should be chosen as the master table. The table with the lesser number of rows should be chosen as the master table. Here I opted for this subject as the master table. Here there is no record problem but I opted for this and we have to set the property first we are going to see the normal join. So I opted this one I selected as normal join and you have to give the condition ok subject id is equal to subject id. Now you have to click the apply then drag this to target. Now we have created the joiner transformation and uh, mapping is now valid. Well, we have made 
Oops, I'm doing this. Here, normal join condition is there. And make sure that we are giving this connection property properly because we are using the relational table. So make sure the target load type is normal, everything is OK. Insert is clicked and we can go for start workflow it will what is happening now it's running it already create the target table over here and the target table name is subject student target and let we will see okay the record populated over here okay actually there are four joins available in the joiner transformation normal join master router join detail router join full outer join here in normal join what happens is the joiner transformation output only the records that match the join condition if there is any join condition that means if the join condition is satisfied only norm, in normal join if join condition satisfied only the records will be displayed otherwise it will discard all the rows that does not match the join condition so only two records got displayed and uh, we are going to see the other join master router join okay before that let me will see the one more property available over here i will explain about the joiner cache here the cache directory is there why the um, cache directory is there uh, what is the reason to cache the data actually in joiner transfer what is happening is internally Whenever the joiner transformation occurs in a session, the Informatica server reads all the records from the master source first. And actually it builds the data cache and index cache based on the master rows. After building the caches, the joiner transformation reads the records from the detailed source and performs the join. Okay. So we have to make sure that the master table should always be the table which contains a lesser number of rows okay and now we are going to see the master router join I'm changing this type to master router join the other two outer join you can yourself work out so that uh, I'm not going to do that let we will see about the master router join over here and refresh the map before that delete the records commit it now it will be empty okay now you can run the workflow okay now it is uh, running now and uh, we can see succeeded it has got succeeded now you can see what happens over here is actually that the master router join what what it does is it keeps the all record from the detail source that means here we have chosen the student table as the detailed record detailed uh, table so that it displays all the records from the student table 10 20 30 the student id has got displayed but it displays the record only the matching rows from the master source so here in the master uh, table there is no subject available for the student number 30 student id 30 so it is not displaying the records as it is not available it is not able to display it this is the way you have to use the joiner transformation okay